Hello everyone, welcome to day 7 of the Carnivore Diet. It's Sunday the 7th of January and today I made my own butter. I know that doesn't sound tremendously exciting, but seeing as butter is one of the things that is allowed on the diet, I thought that I'd make my own just to make sure that there weren't any funny, funny additives or anything like that in it. Super, super easy. Just literally take some double cream, whack it in a Cuisinart or a, a, a Magimix and turn it on. Takes about 90 seconds, starts to pull the, the, uh, the butter starts to form and then you just pour off some of the, uh, the milk, the uh, buttermilk, and then a little bit of water, a little bit of salt, turn it back on for a couple seconds, boom. Basically, you've got your own butter. And 600 mils of that makes 400, 400 grams of butter, which is actually cheaper. So it's about half the price of buying butter at the store. So if you can't be bothered to buy butter or you just want to make your own, it's super, super easy. Um, anyway, so that was quite good. Otherwise... Um, body fat was down this morning, so 32.2 yesterday, 31.5 today, had good sleep last night, I've not left the house today, in fact, I've, the only thing I've really done of any consequence is, well, I talked about this in my other video, but you'll notice that my lighting is a little bit better tonight, and that's because I worked it out, I think, so I might have a good solution, and what it means is, is I can actually have my fitness spreadsheet and, and some stuff up here as well. So the monitor provides the light, and it gives me the information that I need, which is amazing. So I'm super, super stoked about that, and feel good today. I've been super, super strict. I was very strict yesterday. I've been even more strict today. I really, I've been cheating a lot with peanut butter, and I want to get off of doing that. So I've really tried, I've had, mm -mm. normally that's my thing. If I just have to have some sort of a snack or whatever, then I just default kind of go to peanut butter and peanut butter. But I really don't want to because I haven't made the peanut butter and I know there's a bunch of other stuff in it. Raw peanuts are a different thing. So if I've got, you know, sort of roasted peanuts, even in the shell would be even better. But I, anyway, that's been my little cheat to sort of get me into the flow. But I'm now seven days in and I'm feeling okay. Everything seems to be all right. I had, oh, I had electrolytes today as well. So a friend of mine, my nutritionist friend, gave me some of the element um, electrolyte packs. So I had, she gave me chili, uh, mango chili and a chocolate one. And I tried the chocolate one today and it is the weirdest tasting thing I think I've ever had. It's like you put it up to your lips and you just get this blast of like sodium and this really salty taste. But then as you start to swallow it, that salt turns into chocolate. And then as you get the chocolate taste, then it turns into stevia sweetener, ugh, which is terrible. I hate it. I absolutely hate that stuff. That stevia, stevia, however you say it. It's horrendously bad for me. I know maybe a lot of people like it or whatever. I absolutely can't stand it. So the aftertaste just of that is almost enough to put me off. But I think I feel better. I can't really tell because I didn't get out and do too much. But I have been having some headaches and a lot of like real tension in, in the back of my neck. And last night when I was sleeping, I had a little bit of cramping in my legs and stuff. And I just started to think, yeah, maybe I should take one of those electrolyte packs. So I had one of those today. I'm going to try another one tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with the element one. So I might try and find a UK brand or some sort of European brand that might work instead. So I might have to try a few different ones only because uh, it seems like the element stuff is extremely expensive to get in the UK because it's a US product. It's not so bad in America, but over here it's super expensive. So I might want to try and find something else. So anyway, butter, electrolytes, pretty positive. Body fat's gone down a little bit. Oh yeah, weight went down from 80, sorry, 98.5 to 98. So half a kilo. Not sure where that came from. I didn't do anything in particular to sort of warrant that. The only thing I can think is that I haven't been to the gym in a couple of days. And so some of the 
maybe some of the water weight that had gone into my muscles from lifting weights is actually coming out. So that's probably just a bit of water weight. I suspect that when I go back to the gym tomorrow, then that will come back because the muscles will get pumped and they'll fill with water again. And then that'll probably go back up. But anyway, it's sort of two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, one step back. So I'm fine with that. Again, it's not about the weight, but it's a nice side effect and I'll take it. So that's it for tonight. I'm going to keep it quick, but I will let you know tomorrow what the verdict is on the butter and how it goes over. And I should also go to the gym tomorrow. I'll also be in Cambridge later this week as well. So I'll be traveling, which will be interesting to see how I can travel and stay on the diet as well. Luckily, I know Cambridge quite well and I know all the places to eat. So I know where I can go to get the food that I want that'll still be on the diet. So that's okay. I'm at Cambridge is probably the least bad place I could go. But anyway, that's what's coming up. So, uh, I hope everybody has a good evening and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.